Hi, welcome to the demo on the device viewport zoom setting in N5. This setting allows you to configure what becomes the viewport meta tag in HTML5. And uh, it's a very simple option to choose. And the result of it is uh, giving a mobile browser, so a browser on a tablet or a smartphone, um, a directive in order to scale your content up or down uh, to fit the size of the window. So the setting is ignored on desktop computers, um, but you can, for instance, use it to uh, create one design that scales to a device of any size. So here in InDesign, I have uh, a document that is configured for the portrait orientation of an iPad. So it's 768 pixels wide and uh, 1024 pixels high and I have just a black rectangle which is going to give me a sense of the edge of the pages and then I have a an N5 logo in the center it's going to give me an idea of the scale on the device as well as the uh, position of the content so to show this demo I'm going to use the iOS simulator which is part of Xcode um, and this is just a tool that allows me to demo it much easier. Um, it's a tool I use for uh, testing content, so I don't actually have to use uh, a physical device. Um, we'll start with the iPhone, and I'll, I'll show it demoing the iPad later. And in order for this uh, simulator to access files, um, I can't just uh, go and say, I want to open this, this web page on my hard drive. Um, I actually need to have a server running. Um, so for this demo, I'm also going to use uh, MAMP to run an Apache server uh, local on my machine so that uh, I can just post files there um, and access them like a web page instead of having to upload them to a remote server somewhere and access that web page. So I'm going to hide that, but if you're interested in that tool, you can look it up. It's MAMP.org. There's also uh, WAMP for Windows. Um, but it's not at all necessary to use N5, uh, just just a useful tool for testing on the iOS simulator. So um, back in InDesign here, uh, I'm going to go uh, take the normal steps I would to export this content to HTML5. So I'm going to choose File and Export HTML5 with N5. And I'm using the slider demo for the uh, excuse me the slider page format for this demo. And I've turned off Enable Swipe Navigation. Uh, it's just going to make it easier for me to uh, drag the content around on the iOS simulator. Um, so it's not going to think I'm, I'm trying to swipe to the next page or anything like that. And the, the setting in question here is under Advanced. But uh, actually, before I get to that, I'm just going to mention um, uh, one reason uh, I want to highlight this feature is um, not everybody realizes it's there. Um, and the way they might expect this to work is um, I have this one design and I want to work it on, on multiple devices. Uh, so maybe I'll just choose Liquid as the page format. And uh, the issue there is that Liquid is actually based on the Liquid layout settings in InDesign. So if I were to go to Window, Interactive, Liquid Layout, um, you can see I don't actually have this document or this page configured for Liquid Layout. So there's no information for InDesign to pick up, excuse me, In5 to pick up from InDesign and turn this page into a Liquid Layout. Um, yeah, so it would pr produce a probably a disappointing result. Um, but the fact is I don't actually have to do all of that configuration. If all I want is the entire design to scale to the size of the device, I can just do that with one setting. So let's go back to File, Export, HTML5 with N5. And that setting is under Advanced and is called Device Viewport Zoom. So the default option there is Let Device Choose. And the reason this is called Let Device Choose is basically on any old website, HTML5 or pre-HTML5, um, if there isn't a viewport setting there, the mobile device is going to try and guess how it should display the content. Uh, the mobile device knows it's smaller than the original screens that websites were designed for. 
So it tries to figure out uh, the size the, of the relevant content. So if it's maybe there's 500 pixels of relevant content, it's going to try and make uh, the screen zoom in or out, depending on how it's configured, uh, how the, the web page is configured, uh, so that that 500 pixels takes up the entire width of the mobile device screen. And uh, so, that, so that it's easier for the person to read it. So the, the device is basically guessing. And you know, what we can do with this setting is to uh, not make the device guess. We can actually tell it what we want it to do. Um, but let's just, let's just leave it at the default setting and see what it looks like. So I'm going to cancel and switch the iOS simulator and go into the web browser. And here's where, what it looks like when the device has to guess. Um, so you can see the entire page and there's space around it. So in a sense, the device did a pretty good job. It's like it's got all of the relevant content in there. It's got the whole width of the page, but it's got a little bit extra too. Um, and I don't want that extra. So um, let's look at the ways I can, I can actually tell the mobile device specifically, you know, how to zoom in or out. So uh, I'm going to go back into InDesign, choose File, Export HTML5 within 5. And I'm going to jump back to Advanced. And under the Device Viewport Zoom, I'm going to choose the next option, which is Zoom to, de excuse me, zoom to Device Width. Now this setting is uh, basically going to tell the device, um, "Hey, I want you, I want you to try and set this up based on the size of the device." Um, and so that is, in a lot of cases, um, we're going to get lucky, and that's going to work pretty well. But let's go ahead and export and take a look at that, and uh, you'll see an issue just to, in a second here. Um, so I'm going to click OK, and then I'm just going to kind of pause the capture, and so you'll you'll see a quick cut. Uh, as we switch over to the iOS simulator. So in the iOS simulator, uh, I'm just going to refresh since that content has been exported with that new uh, viewport setting. And so if I, it looks pretty good. Actually, the logo is in the center. If I try and grab it with my cursor here and drag it left or right, um, it, it appears as though the, the width is, is dead on. Um, and so it has scaled well. Um, there's one little quirk here down at the bottom. Um, there is, I had checked in the export window uh, the option to include that, that in five footer that says built within five. Um, and you can see, even though that is set to have a width of 100%, um, it got a little confused here. And the reason is because the device itself, uh, zooming in or out, has sort of influenced what a hundred percent of the screen is so this bit of CSS uh, wasn't able wasn't able to sort of accurately determine what a hundred percent is and and it it didn't get it quite right so let's take a look at the next option and uh, we can see how we can actually uh, fix that and get closer to what we want so I'm going to switch back to InDesign here and choose uh, file export HTML5 with in5 and I'm going to go to the advanced section and I'm going to choose the next option uh, for the viewport which is zoom to page width and this is going to give uh, the device the instruction that um, here's my page width uh, in 5 is, is going to know what that width is it's going to know in this case it's 768 pixels and it's going to tell the device I want you to scale in or out as much as you need to to make sure uh, that 768 pixels uh, is 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 covering the width of that viewport. So let's uh, click OK and see the result of that. So back in the simulator here, I'm just going to hit refresh and we'll see the new content. So no change up at the top. Um, if I try and drag left or right, it's uh, perfectly matching the width. Width, excuse me. And if I scroll down, um, you can see that in five quarter. Um, excuse me, the in five footer is now covering the entire width uh, of the page. So um, it's essentially like the mobile device got much more clear instructions and it passed those much more clear instructions on to CSS. So uh, kind of everybody's happy and they know where they're supposed to be. Um, so this is basically the way I've said, I'm telling the device, uh, this is the page width I want. 
Um, so I happened to, des to design this for an iPad, but here I am on the iPhone, um, and the width uh, fits. Um, and it'd be true if it were in landscape as well. Um, it's just going to try and fit whatever that width is. So uh, one more setting let's take a look at. Um, in InDesign, I'm going to choose File, Export HTML5 with In5. I'm going to go back to Advanced and choose the last viewport option, which is Force 100% Scale. So the idea here is basically um, we're telling the viewport not to zoom in or out. Just stay at 100%. And the effect of that is going to be that um, 768 pixels is 768 pixels. It doesn't matter if the device is only 280 pixels wide. Um, we want this to be 768 pixels wide. So I'm going to click OK, and then let's, uh, let's take a look at the effect of that. So in the simulator, I'm going to hit Refresh. And uh, you can see it looks very different now. And if I try and drag it around, um, you can see the, the content now is um, much larger than, than the size of the screen. Um, and that's because uh, the actual pixel dimensions are bigger than the screen itself. And, um, you know, there, there are a couple reasons you might want to choose this option. Uh, you know, one might be that um, uh, you have to have text that's small for a certain reason, um, and you want to make sure that it, it continues to be readable even on the tiny device, so this would make sure the text still stays large even as the device gets small. Um, you might also choose the force 100% scale option in conjunction with liquid layout um, because your liquid layout settings will actually be, be determining how things scale. So you don't, you don't want to have the, the device trying to zoom in and out at the same time as your liquid layouts trying to, to move around. So that's another reason to choose that. Um, but this is, this is the effect of that. And I'm actually going to uh, switch the device in the simulator to the iPad. Um, and you can see how this changes from uh, device to device with a uh, different scale. So it'll just take a second to load up and I'm going to open the web browser and it'll pull up that same page and now if I try to drag to the left or the right um, you can see the width is perfectly filling this screen. Um, you know the content is a great fit for the screen but it's not because the viewport is zooming in or out it's because the original InDesign document is designed for this exact screen width. Um, so uh, you can see how that how that viewport has a kind of a multifaceted interaction with the with the, the size of the device and the intention that you have as the designer in terms of how you want your content to scale. So um, now you know the viewport setting is is there and all the powerful things you can do with it. Uh, hopefully it will help you produce designs that uh, you can take and move around from device to device. So thanks for watching.